So Augustus asks, do you have an idea of what gases stay where if unmixed in the burn path and how that affects where to have your secondary air input? Augustus, thank you, first of all, for that uh, donation or whatever we call that. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, so <clears throat> it's a tough question. You know, it's going to be specific. Are we talking about a J? Are we talking about a batch? Um, those types of things, you know, those are going to are going to dip, you know, that the answer is going to depend on that. And so where to have your secondary input, you know, I really, I feel like you just want to stick to whatever plant the plans are with the existing cores. You won't make any improvements by trying to just insert some secondary air here or there. Um, but I will tell you uh, that the general rule of thumb is, is that you want to have your secondary air come in prior to all of your mixing elements of the core in other words prior to like the port and the riser where the ram's horns you know the double uh, vortex forms that is a mixing element so you want your air you want your air and your fuel to basically enter uh, the mixing and combustion portion of the core at this you know at the same time you don't want to add air later and you don't want to inject air into those um, areas because you have you will be missing part of the of the mixing and you will be missing part of the uh, temperature raising of that air so it's important to put that in early in the in the process get it in there with the wood gas get them both preheating and mixing and then deliver those to your combustion and mixing chamber um, so hopefully that helps